Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon Sharon Brown here, physical therapist and wellness coach. Let's get your fixed physical therapy, get your fixed nutrition, CrossFit coach at CrossFit Majestic. Still on the front rack series, we're getting towards the end of it. We'll continue to work down the chain. So today I wanted to talk about hip mobility. And this actually plays into all squats, not necessarily just when you're in that front rack position and going down into um, a front squat or if you're catching in the bottom of that clean. This actually goes for all squats. I just wanted to address it since it does play a role into your overall positioning for your front squats and for your cleans. So with the hips, when you sit all day, they tend to get really tight and stiff. They tend not to want to go past 90 degrees because that's where most chairs are, if they're even at 90 degrees. Plus most chairs tend to make us kind of, uh, our hips to ro rotate a little bit inward. So we don't have a lot of external rotation. So between those two factors of lack of hip flexion, lack of external rotation, we lose that ability to get into the hips below, knee, hips below knees uh, fold up squat position. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites that I like to do in order to address the hip mobility and uh, then we're going to also show you how to um, kind of retrain that pattern as well to teach your body what it's supposed to do with that movement. So as far as the hips. One of my favorites is pigeon pose. So it's just going to be your standard yoga pigeon pose where one foot's forward and then you're coming down over it. Now, when you're in this position, your goal is to get this, um, your shin parallel to your body. If you can't do that, that's fine. Just start, just work to get there. So you may be here right now and that's okay. Just over time, you're going to start progressing to that position and then you're going to lay down over the top and just kind of relax down as your ultimate goal. But if you're doing it, uh, when you're in that position, you should be feeling it in that front leg, right in that butt area. If you're just working on mobility itself, holding that for a good two minutes is really good just in, in order to really open that up and loosen it up. If you are just doing some stretching before you actually work out, before you're doing a squat workout, then you don't want to stretch it for that long. 15 to 30 seconds is all you really want to do just to get things moving. So it's a more dynamic rather than a long static hold. But this is a great one to do if on your active recovery day, on your mobility day, when you're just trying to get moving, just working on getting moving that day. So pigeon pose is a really good one. Another one I really like to do it's a more difficult one to do, but it's also one that you want to work on getting towards. It may take you six months. It may take you two months, you know, whatever you can do. But you're going to put one foot on top of the other thigh. And then your ultimate goal is getting this one on top as well and being able to hang out there for two minutes. If you can't get in that position, that's fine. You're just gonna go however far back you can with that foot, maintaining a good upright posture. And then over time, you're just gonna continue to work it closer and closer until you can sit there comfortably. And then the other one I like to do, we're actually gonna use this band for two different purposes, one to stretch and one to retrain. So to actually stretch, you're gonna put it at that hip crease you're going to take your knees out a little wide and then you're going to sit back into it. And you're just going to let this pull your hips backwards. So you're basically going to sit back as far as you can into that position, keeping those feet wide, keeping those knees wide, letting that band pull you back. Now, after we've gotten that all stretched out, two minutes in each position, we're basically going to retrain it. So from here, same position, stepping out and from there, From here, you're basically going to squat down and you're going to let that band pull you backwards. And it's going to pull on your hips to, re to uh, retrain that motion of getting those hips back. Because a lot of times when we are working on retraining these patterns, we get this mobility, but our body doesn't actually know how to use it. So this band is a way to kind of retrain how to move your hips. The other way you can do it, another way I do like, I like actually training both ways, is going 
below the knees so it helps keep those uh, lower legs where they're supposed to be and then dropping you down as well and maintaining that. It's a good way to kind of retrain that pattern. So try those out and see how those work for you. Let me know if you've done them in the past, let me know if you're gonna do them tonight, let me know. Uh, put some comments on here. Just give me some feedback on how they work for you. And as usual, if you have anything specific, feel free to reach out to me through Facebook Messenger. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. So hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.